Well, hello everyone, welcome yourselves in. This right here is Allbound, and if, like me, you love the dwarves and dwarven stuff in fantasy, it might be one for you. This is a first look, so I have no idea what it's all about. We're going to jump in together and see what we can do. Okay, so on world selection, we have demo world, random world, custom seed. Let's just go in here. We'll keep enemies on. So sandbox mode, every building machine and item is unlocked. No, we definitely don't want that. We want to run through and play as intended. Well, it looks like we are in and on our dwarven ship going in. And the map is all voxel, by the way, so every tile is diggable and changeable. I'm going to need to change the, uh, the sensitivity. That's better. And we, uh, we're we just going on in. So we'll see what it's all about. Music's pretty epic already as well. So one of my favorite ever book series, if you haven't read it, is called The Dwarves. It's from a German author that was translated into English. And there's three books, about 800 pages each. If you like reading, check them out. If you like fantasy as well, they're like Lord of the Rings and stuff. It's a very good series. Warbound. Very cool. There's like a camp down there. I believe the map is home to, like, orc camps and stuff as well. So we'll see what it's all about. Another dwarf there. Oh, man. I'm feeling good. The music's making me feel some kind of way. It looks like we are now descending down to land. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, I've got no shoes on. My big feet. <laughs> oh, we're just going down nice and quick. Here we go. Nice bit of color. I want to get me underground. And dig. All right, leave the dwarven ship. Here we go. We started off with a few different things then. So we have a sword, a building hammer, some wall torches, some flares, a beacon compass, and a tether. So I jump off to leave the ship. There we go. Let's take a look. We'll hack and slash, see what we can do. E to collect. Okay, mushrooms to eat. So I think it's going to have like the survival craft kind of elements. I'm not sure. We'll see, though. We'll go towards where it wants us to go. I don't see the marker, though. But I'm just going to go down instead. It wants us to go lower, so I think we've just got to get to a point. So I think it's sending us like that so we can grab resources on the way. That's what I'm going to assume. So I'm just going to go down, collecting all this stuff. Oh, here we go. A nice big pit down here. Oh, there's some different stuff in there. It looks like ores and that. So I think as you dig as well, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can get. Ah, here we go. We found the tunnel. Okay, what have we got? They look like some earth shard. That sounds important. All right, looks like we're going to hit the correct. Oh, no, I don't think that's a way then. It doesn't actually tell. It's just telling you what depth I am. Okay, cool. Okay, the beginning. Knight's quest board is J. Strong foundations. Any dwarven empire is built on solid foundations. You'll need a place to craft your tools. Build an area to start your base. Okay, that's how we unlock stuff. Ah, here we go. Okay, you have to build one of these to start your journey. We're actually going to build down in the uh, the mines. It's going to be a start of our home because I am a dwarf, right? King's board and compass. The board is a central hub for quests and rewards to explore the world. It's also a beacon you can locate using the beacon compass tool in your hotbar. Okay, which is this one. Use the compass and use it to place beacons while exploring, or you might get lost in the deepest caves. All right, this then you need to make sure you place them so we know our way back. So if we interact with this one, then we can complete these once we've got them. So wooden foundations and an upgrade station. So are we allowed to now do that? All right, what do we have then? An upgrade station. The station you need to craft basic tools and upgrade them. Right, so we'll get this first thing in. That's our beacon for home. So we are going to start our plunder. Are we allowed to? Come on. And there it is. There's our first one. So if I come over to here, can I now build? I can. Lovely. Stone pickaxe. We will craft one of those. And then stone felling axe. We'll need some wood and stone. How long does it take them? And then you can upgrade them. Okay. Very cool. And there's the pickaxe. Let's get this in. We'll just rearrange. There is our pickaxe. Can I now whack away that stuff? What is that? Oh, I'm on beacon. Not what I wanted. This. Oh, I can. That gives us stone. Beautiful. So we just... Oh, wow. We can dig all the way in. Okay. Time for it. <laughs> I can carve out my base here. Oh, there's a tunnel there. This is going to be interesting. Let me go grab some wood so we can build some basic stuff. And what we're going to want to do is start placing a beacon. So how does this thing work? I guess it just 
signals where you are. So that's wood and iron ore. So we can't do beacons. We basically can't get lost. I'm going to dig my way up to the trees here. So we're just going to have to grab some wood. This is going to be the perfect place to uh, continue on. What do we have over there? Some wild boar. I don't want to fight you. Got to be careful at the top as well. I've got a health and a thingy bar. So definitely need to be careful. I'm going to just take a bunch of wood down, though, so I can actually craft a few things. We'll get the axe and that, and then we'll come back in. Oh, coal. Hello. We'll take some of that. Ah, the boar's chasing me. I'm going to hit it with my uh, pickaxe, I wonder. Okay. Nope, I cannot fight that. We do not have... Oh, I've got a sword. What am I about? Let's, let's go chop him up. I can. Ha, 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 ha. Give me your... What have you got? Or carcass. Just bear with that, guys. This version is um, the alpha build. There will be a big update in a couple of days when it comes out as well. I just wanted to showcase it as well. So do keep those things in mind. Let's head on back down to the start of our base here. And I think some of these might be iron ore. Nope, that's just stone. Okay. So I think he might be part of my empire now. Who knows? Who knows? Acquire these items, wooden axe, and we'll complete that one. That's good. So let's go in and one... X. We'll craft that bad boy. What else do we have? Navigator. Something just happened, or is that just the noise? Okay. All right, we have our axe. What else can we make with this then? So I think that's pretty much it. The rest is going to be upgrades. So we'll have to go into our builder thing here. And let's have a look. So we have King's Quest Board, Research Station, King's Market, Machines, Valuables, Fortress. Ah, here's the foundations. So we're going to need a whole bunch of wood before we can actually do anything, right? I might just dig up from here then. If we go... Oh no, this is a pretty big dig. I kind of want to bring this stuff with me. I wonder if I can take this. I can, can't I? This probably isn't the place to be. If we just destroy that and destroy that. You get all resources back, which is good. And we're going to go build outside. So we can actually start to build a little bit of an up, up house before we go further in. Uh, it looks like night is upon us, so I think out here. Wow. There's a lot going on. There's some good ores there. That is that iron right there. That could be coal as well. I do want to build at the entrance point of this almost. I think if we let's start it around here. So let's chuck the King Quest board down there, and then I should be able to start doing these. So I think in order to even do anything, you're going to need a pretty flat land. I've just tried and it was an absolute failure without it being pretty flat. But if I start digging up how well can i flatten this to actually build on because i kind of want a foundation in the grounds you know worth a try that somewhat works we need to build it level i think i'll need to get to grips with them uh, building here but uh, it looks like it is snapping much better with these pieces there we go okay okay we have a foundation coming in so if you press f you get this build mode grip grid and snap points I can really start to uh, build out the foundation properly. So I think I can. I don't mind that little step there, actually. That's pretty cool. That is it. Cool. Got it figured out. Oh, I just found some iron whilst digging. So it looks like you can find iron nodes just randomly about here, which is we're going to need a whole bunch of iron if we go exploring for the, uh, the nodes to find our way home. I think I'm going to go ahead and destroy these. Ah, middle mouse, she can copy as well. That makes life a lot easier. Beautiful. Here we go. We have the start of a foundation here. It's actually quite easy to build now, I know. So if we just right uh, middle mouse click, you can actually just hit that there and you can have the boards either way. And then we can go in and get our wall and door. So we're going to start a really basic base here. Look at this. This is the start of our little cove. A little mission thing up there so we can dig it out and go upward. I'm going to make some of this so cool. This is this is good. Look at this. So the upgrades. What would you need? Iron cogs. So we'd need to build the certain things to be able to do this. Which actually, if we go into this one here, we have the research station, which is obviously 20 iron ore. So we need to go find that and then 40 iron ore for the king's market. So these are the things we're going to need. I might just move the King's Quest board just down here and we'll go from this point and we'll go on the hunt for some iron ore actually. And we'll just stick the King's Quest down here so we've got our humble little home right here fit for the start of our Dwarven Empire. It's beautiful. 
and it looks like tools do not expire, which is interesting. Really good to know because a lot of these survival-y craft kind of games do. Now, I do believe there is some kind of quests that you have and there is a bit of a story you can complete. Don't quote me on that. So it's something we'll have to kind of contend with as we go through. That looks like iron ore. But yeah, I'll be digging through and just seeing if I can find what we need. That is an iron deposit right there. And the iron. So I don't know if these replenish. I do see that they stay and it says depleted. I'm not sure if they do, whether that's the intent of how the game um, kind of wants to be played. I'm going to look at how we can do the food stuff as well. That is just stone. That is just nothing. I'm grabbing these uh, shards as they come as well. I'm not sure if they're used for anything, but yeah, it looks like we're able to... So you can start basically building um, bridges and stuff. There is a lot. Look at this. We've got a mini turret. A, a small turret that spits molten coal at enemies. Very cool. And then we've got Explosive. Oh, man, there's some boars over there. I've got to be careful. There's storage and a bed to save spawn location. Okay, that's really important. So we'll definitely go ahead and get one of those. There's a cooking cauldron as well. Cook up fine dwarven cuisine. And then the fortress stuff. So I'm just going to grab a ladder in over here so we can kind of get up and down without too much hassle. I know we can drop in. It's just so we can get back out, really. I don't know if we'll need to how this works. Let's come out. Ah, you've got to get on it. Okay, you so you interact, then climb up. And then I'm hoping I can create just a very small little platform here, which I can. So we're going to get back on the ladder. Let me up. There we go. And we'll come on out. Perfect. We've got a little way down into the mine. I will make that more stable. Maybe I can attach them. You can. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go down and sort that. And there we have it. We have our little ladder. Cool. I think you just got to walk straight at it. You don't even in need to interact, so it does work. It's got a bit of an obnoxious sound, but we have a way down into what is the crevice over there. Perfect. Where did all your logs come from? And there we go. I think we can complete this one. Strong foundations gives us 250 coin. Obviously, there is things we can do, right? And it looks like I can now interact with these. Ruby ore. We could complete that one, which actually has rewards for giving it you as well. Okay, this is really good. So... Dig for the king. That I can do. This one here. We just need to collect the wood and we'll get a navigator. Locate ores under the surface with sound. Ooh. Okay. I'm loving it already. I am loving it. We need loads of wood. Let's go. All right. We're going to finish this quest right here, which is going to give us that navigator and the gold coins. Equip the navigator and use it to locate ores to mine and deposit to drill. Oh, you can set up drills and stuff later. I'm excited. And what I'm going to do now is get enough to craft the bed. So that is going to be, well, something we have more than enough of. So let's just get a really simple bed right here. And we're going to set our spawn now. So we officially have the spawn point all set up. And we're going to equip this navigator. So we'll get this. Select resource to find. So it, whilst we're in here, we can go for... Well, unlock at research station will be rubies, I'm guessing. Because that's one of the missions. Okay. If we go iron ore. I think there's iron below us. Oh, hello. Get out of here. All right, that's good to know. What we're going to do first then is get our cooking pot as well. So what is that? got everything we need we need iron ingots for this actually let's get a little cooking pot ah iron ingots how do we smell iron my guess is going to be the research station this thing is huge so we need to build a bit more and i've got a bit of a plan already on how i want to build so let me show you so we're gonna have our base foundation here and then what i'm gonna do is go ahead and build upward slightly into what will be normal kind of area so we'll go up and then we'll build off the back of this foundation here it's going to be pretty timely but uh that's okay i think if it lets me it does so you can build like this what i'm going to do is balance this out with what looks like pillars going across and then i'm going to change it i think you guys that really like building stuff are going to love this one we'll start that i'm actually going to go ahead and destroy my bed and place it up here so we'll get that back as our spawn point. And then down here, we're going to get our cooking thing. Not our cooking. We're going to get our research station, sorry. 
Oh, it's an actual dwarf in it. Hello. How are you, mate? You're hanging off the edge, aren't you? I need to sort that. But let's see what this is all about. Automation. So this allows us to smelt. So it costs gold to unlock this. I get you. So you need them in the vault. This will unlock the manual smelter, which allows us to get our ingots. There we go. Dwarven vaults. Dwarven banking. I can already sense that you're going to be able to build stupid underground kingdoms. Oh, now this is going to be good. Okay. All right. All right. I'm excited. Or detection. What else do we have? Farming. Spit roast. Oi, oi. Let's, uh, let's, it costs a thousand. So I don't think we can do any of that yet. Most things are pretty expensive here, actually. Okay. Spit roast. Ale farming. Yes. So all we need then is to complete quest. The main focus is to get a bit of this done. This is not going to be ideal, but for now we'll leave it as is so you guys can see. We're going to dig for the king complete. That's going to give us some coal and some gold. Next on the beginning is a true miner. Acquire these items. Iron ore done. Powering dwarven industry. So we just need the king's market, which we have room for as well, which is great. So I think what I'll do, this will be the start of basically a little opening bit. I think I need to dig down and then we'll continue building in there. So let's get uh, get stuck in. Seems to be a whole lot of iron under here, which is great as well. So we're going to try and so this first bit will be just enough to stand that. And then I'm going to dig like a tunnel so we can start the underground empire. So this is going to be the basic marketplace in the entrance point to our kingdom here. All right. What I will say, though, guys, if you do want to see more, you do need to make it known. Because if it doesn't do too well, it'll just be a showcase. And it's something I'll just play offline. So it's one of those, really. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm really excited. And let me know what you think so far. I love the premise of it already. I think it's gonna. it's got a lot of potential. Look how awesome this is going to be with the stone steps. This is going to be where the tunnel comes. I'm going to open that out. And uh, we can start... A little dwarven empire. So this will be like little entrance, kind of my house temporarily whilst we're working outside. And then we'll go underneath. I'll just replace my um, research bench, which is this one right here. And I'll, I'll just put this... I might just put this up out of the way for now so I got room to kind of work with. I think that's fine. We just chuck you there away. Hopefully I've got you in. Yeah, that's perfect. So... We've got that going. What we want to do is spend some time just digging the crap out of this, you know. There we go. Look at that. We've got the start of it. So down in there will be the base. We're not at ground level. I would like to be at ground level before we start, but this will be the entrance tunnel. I may even leave it pretty jagged. We'll have like just a doorway here, for example, like this. So we'll have the great stone archway. No, that's too much. <laughs> We'll have a, um, just some kind of doorway coming through here, I think. So, a wooden doorway. Yeah, that makes sense. So, for now, we'll just have a basic wooden doorway going into the ground. Okay, the building kind of reminds me of, um, so what's the best thing? Uh, Enshrouded. Enshrouded. So, it kind of feels like that, which is good. I actually like that. You can actually set overlap, by the way, so... If you press B, you can allow overlap and you can build your walls in an overlap position to get around the edge points that you've created, which is great. Look at that. And then you can turn it back off. So hopefully we can get in and out. And you can like merge it in. That looks really cool. So this is going to be where we go down. You know, this is going to be what kind of offers in the game. What were we looking for, by the way? What did the king want us to do? the market that we can do for sure so the market do we want to set that down here i think i want to so we'll have our very first kind of building it's cool because i think i've got an idea on how i want to do it and i want it to just go down and like have little breakout points where where each little dwarf is doing their thing you know you know like how it goes down in uh i don't know big lord of the rings fan for example so this could be it here and we'll go into, like, the stone for underground, for example. And we'll get grid and snap points with no overlap. And I should be able to go ahead and start where the uh, place will be, like this. Look at that. So we need to see how big the um, thingy will be. And we'll need to do it in a way that can we can get kind of back 
on here, I guess. We'll have to do flat zones and then build. Uh, maybe I'll do it down here then. So if I go that as a starter point, and then we'll come out to the side just like this. Oh my god, I'm getting all these little ideas and I'm so excited. don't know how strong the uh, roof tiles are here, but we'll, we'll use these for now because they're cheaper. And we'll just kind of build out where the first platform area will be. It's good that you can go into it and then dig it out afterwards too. I like that. It makes it a bit easier. And then we'll go King's Market. I don't know how big this thing is. Okay, we've got a bit of a guide, so that's super cool. I think it's probably time we place a torch. Just place a torch there so I can see what I'm working with. And then we'll go a little bit wider here. All right, just had to collect a bunch of wood for it, so there wasn't much I could do. But let's get back down. And this is cool, man. This is super cool. So if you like your survival games, yep, you're in for that treat as well. All right, King's Market. I love it when you find, like, these indie games that just cater to exactly what you want out of it, you know? There we go. So we'll have this little market here. I might move that, actually. I'm not a big fan of where I've placed that. There we go. He's in there. So as you come down, you've got this little market right here. and We can see what we can do now. It looks like we'll be able to sell and buy certain things. So I want to get this cooking thing done. So we're going to need that smelting thing. It's this. A basic key for old doors can be enchanted to open sacred areas. Speed rune, increased run speed. Bullets, gold coins. So we can sell stuff. Okay, good to know. Earth shards are pretty good. Um, I don't want to sell anything just yet. Maybe... Yeah, craft potions and restore health. We'll keep that. Let's sell one of our boar carcasses. There we go. And we'll, we can complete this thing now that we've just achieved. Hello, I'll take you. And we will also complete you. Apparently I have two kings. Oh no, we built it twice, didn't we? Okay, the next one is feel the heat. So we'll need to build the manual smelter and acquire some ingots. So smelters I'll probably just have out here whilst we look for certain things. And there it is, manual smelter. Pretty pretty cheap to make. Oh, we don't have the stone, so I'm going to have to go and get a bit of stone. It shouldn't take long, though. There's big chunks all over the map here. So it won't take long to collect everything we need. There we go. We've got all the stone we need. I'm going to have to kill this boar that's nearby. Get out of here. I'm not going to loot it yet. I'm just going to clear them out of the base. Just looks like there's a, a method to the fighting, so that's good. But they're gone. Let's head on back in. Ignore the floating for now. And then we're going to build our manual smelter, which we've got more than enough for now. It looks like eventually going to be able to do like factory things. We'll have a look and we're going to go for iron ingots. I think we need to just drag it in. Yep. And then we need some fuel. So let's put eight wood in there. And then that should start smelting some iron ingots. I'm going to get the two so we have enough for our cook pots. Oh, man, what a game. This is going to be so grindy, but so fun. I am really excited. There we go. There's our two um, ingots there. Come on. And we're going to go into our cooking, which is stone, iron, and coal. We're going to chuck in a little cook pot. I'm just throwing things in so you guys can kind of see them for now. And we'll do a bit of rearrangement. So mushroom soup. Cool. So we chuck that in. I'm assuming we can split these. Now ah, you can shift right click and it'll chuck some coal in as well. It's so probably better off using coal. Not sure how many we get out of this. So I'm going to have a look. There's a skull soup. Okay, five mushroom gives you one mushroom soup. We're halfway through, so I wonder if right click to use. Yeah, that gives us ten, so we're actually going to need to go and get a fair bit of food. And my guess is the boar carcass eventually is going to be something we can use. Shift click, that should take it quicker. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we finished anything in here to complete as well. Just need the ruby ores, okay. Oh, hello. We could get some of these done for gold coins as well. That's how we get the research done. Main thing is, though, I'm going to continue down this one here, I think. So we just need to acquire 25 iron ingots. Let me see if there's anything else we can cook up in the meantime. Don't look like it. I reckon there might be some research that we can do that can help. Ah, there it is. Herbed boar. So, we can unlock that for a thousand gold. We can go in. Can we do it in here? We can. Perfect. We can go with herbed boar, which will be... Let's chuck all those herbs in. And then, how do we... 
can be cooked on a spit roast. We need a spit roast. There it is. And we've got a campfire. So spit roast got everything for it. Let's get this baby in. Oh, where do we want it? It's getting a bit out of hand already. I mean, that's kind of cool. Look, ignore the fact that it's wood. We're going to chuck it there for a second. And that will cook the boar. Okay. Very cool. And then with the cooked ham, I'm guessing we can then go into the cauldron to make our recipes. Nice. So whilst that's going, I'm not sure if it burns or we can just carry on. Definitely like the idea of a dwarven bank to uh, keep our gold in. Because I'm assuming if you die, you lose it. And automation is the better tools here. As well as portable ore drill, a blacksmith, and craft durations reduced. Okay. Oh man, there's some serious stuff you can do. All right. Take boar meat. We got four out of that, so we can chuck these in. And that should go ahead and give us a nice herbed boar, just like Papa used to make. So one boar plus three herb bush will give two of those. So what we'll do is just grab that, and then I'm going to use... Yeah, that gives a much better amount. Okay, so we'll have to work on doing that. But what I can do in the meantime is make sure we're cooking off other boars for the meat as well. Cool. Cool. Can I buy food from you? No. These are really simple. Okay, we can buy back the boar carcass. We'll definitely do that. Be nice to see the amount it gives you based on these, though. But I'm not one to complain. Let's have a look at what one boar meat can do food-wise. So cooked boar meat. 10 HP, it says. Okay, so it's definitely worth cooking them up. We'll probably want to build a chest then to put our stuff in. And there we go. We'll get our first little chest up by our bed for now. A little foot foot chest right there. And then we'll just chuck in gold coins for now. Can I? I can. I can chuck them in for now. I think it's sensible to put everything in. If we go out on a bit of a quest, we do need to go and get a load of iron ore so we can make the beacons and find our way down and kind of yep. dig it. But what I want to do is build my empire. I won't lie to you. I just want to keep going. But I think that is a good showcase of the game, at least, anyway. So thank you for being here, guys. I hope you're all well and uh, you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the game. I would really like to uh, know what you think in total. I think it's pretty damn awesome and it's going to have some serious depth. But as always, really appreciate you. Take it easy. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thumbs up, all that jazz. Take it easy. Bye-bye.